Mizzou takes to the road, and it could be a tough test for the 1-0 Tigers. This first alert was... Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning, everyone. The Missouri football team traveled yesterday, went to the same place of its game, of its, of its last game away from Furrow Field, Tempe, Arizona, the site of the Inside Bowl. Arizona State won its opening game last weekend, beating up on UC Davis 48-14. The Sun Devils racked up 517 yards in the game. UC Davis didn't put up any points until the fourth quarter. Arizona State is just outside the top 25 in the AP poll, and they're favored in this game. ASU head coach Dennis Erickson knows a lot about Coach Pinkle's 21st-ranked Tigers. I've always had great respect for them. They play very disciplined. Um, offensively, very similar to a lot of the things that we do. I mean, they're in, uh, they've got a great tight end, but he plays more wide, wide receiver than he does tight end. Uh, but they'll spread you out uh, in no huddle and do those kinds of things. They got a lot of talent at their offensive front. Their D line stands out to me. Um, they got some big guys up front, athletic guys. Um, they play with a lot of intensity. Um, you know, they got a few linebackers that, you know, have played for a couple years now and are, are very talented. Um, and then their secondary um, doesn't seem to make uh, very many mistakes. Rematch of last year's Alamo Bowl. Oklahoma State beat up on Arizona 36-10 in that one. First quarter, OSU's Brandon Whedon to his favorite target, Justin Blackman, for a three-yard TD, 14-0 Cowboys. Second quarter, Joseph Randall with a four-yard rushing TD, his second of the night. OSU leads 21-0. Third quarter, Whedon to Blackman again. Boy, that play looks familiar. 27-7 Cowboys. Blackman finished with 12 receptions for 128 yards and two scores. Big 12 takes this one from the Pac-12, 37-14. Small college football, Lincoln University started the season with a win. The first game with former St. Louis Rams and Mizzou Tiger Mike Jones as their head coach. Much more difficult game last night. Lincoln played at 15th ranked Washburn, LU's first game in the MIAA since 2001. Washburn with a 66-26 win. The Blue Tigers now 1-1 one one on the season. The pros getting underway last night. Former Super Bowl winning Packers QB Bart Starr on hand. Opening drive, current Super Bowl winning QB Aaron Rodgers picks up where he left off as he finds Greg Jennings for the seven yard TD pass. 7 0 Packers. Rodgers just getting started in this one as his NFL rookie Randall Cobb as he catches the pass and runs it in for the 32 yard touchdown. Cobb's first TD and his first Lambeau leap. 21 7 Packers. Cobb not done. New NFL kicking rule, ball move from the 30 to 35 on kickoffs, led to a lot of touchbacks in this game, but not here, as Cobb spins away from tacklers, showing his strength, and then here's the speed. How about a 108-yard kickoff return to tie the NFL record, 35-20, pack attack. Third quarter, the Saints refused to go away. Drew Brees with a 29-yard TD pass to Devery Henderson, 35-27 Packers. Last play of the game, Mark Ingram stuffed on fourth and goal from the one, Packers hold on 42-34. Royals in Seattle to take on the Mariners. First pitch of the game, Ichiro with the solo shot. 1-0 Mariners, his 36th leadoff homer. Top second, Mike Moustakis grounds out to second. Jeff Francoeur coming home and he's thrown out. Let's take a clo closer look at this one. Football season just getting started and right on cue, Francoeur is going to take a big shot at home. Look at this. Wow. Thankfully, Francoeur is going to be okay, as there's the slow-mo. You can really get a good look at it. Um, and then top sixth, Eric Hosmer singles to center. Melky Cabrera scores. Game tied at 1-1. One to one. Bottom sixth, Seattle's Justin Smoke with the two-run homer to right. 3-1 Mariners. Top ninth, tying run at the plate, but Salvador Perez grounds out to short to end it. Mariners win 4-1. High school volleyball, Jefferson City Lady Jays made the drive up Highway 63 to visit Hickman. Hickman getting pumped up here. Jeff City's Kristen Burnett earns the kill early on. Hickman up 13-12, but they wouldn't be up for long as Daniel Moore for Jeff City gets a block to tie the game 13-13. And check out this guy with the cute little dog. Wow, isn't that adorable? Uh, Hickman's Sarah Miller right here is going to come up with an air for the QPs. 
Jeff City wins the first match 25-18 and then the second set 25-14 to get the big win. Megan and David, you know, big big game tonight. How key is it for the Tigers to win? Because, you know, this is an away game, really a game that could show show how good they are or how good they, they aren't. How big is this game? I think it's a huge game because it's so hard to play in somebody else's house. Well, they have such a, a huge platform tonight. I mean, Friday night game on ESPN. I, right. I mean, it's going to be big. Young so. quarterback. You know, I believe in him. I believe in him. We'll be watching. Thanks, Common. Let's take a live look out of her